vending friday here in tampa bay i'm in front of a Wittern 3504 is the model number and what i'm going to do in this video is get it ready uh, to install actually next um wednesday so as you can see there's already some items in the machine i can uh, preload the machine with items like chips and things that won't melt so crackers cookies chips so I'm putting those in there, but I'm just going to kind of go over what I'm doing in this video. So if you're watching the replay, thanks for watching. Let me know what questions you have. If any, I have to, uh, when you're prepping a machine, you want to make sure you have it priced, programmed, tested, everything's ready to go. So when you install it, simple, easy, breezy, beautiful, just like CoverGirl. So these are some price scrolls here. Normally would use um, label maker, but I was able to have some of these random uh, price scrolls. So we'll go over how those go on and get attached to change the price of it. And uh, let's get started here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up putting some chips in here. Got some pork rinds already in there. Grab some of these this morning off the truck. Let's fill it up here. Now, if you're new, a good tip is always load from the back to the front. That way you can know you don't miss a slot. So if you load from back to front, you're bringing all the empty coils down to you so you can make sure can make sure you won't miss a coil. If you start filling from front to back, you're looking over, you might skip one. So right here, this one right here, how there's two. You put one in there, but I actually missed the coil, okay? So, little tip there. I know how many go in there though, so. Anyways, down here in the bay, we almost hit our goal on YouTube, throwing in a little flaming Hot Cheeto in there this morning. <clears throat> also, if you're watching, let me know what kind of uh, content you wanna see. Do you wanna see collection videos? Do you wanna see machine videos? What kind of vending content would you like to uh, see? Maybe some reaction videos? Maybe that might be good, a little bit of reaction to some of the other vendors. Maybe some of the other vendors who uh, kind of kind of run it on YouTube here a little bit, huh? Problem with a lot of the bigger vendor uh, people on YouTube is they they don't know what they're talking about. So that's the first problem. So maybe we'll start doing that a little bit more. Maybe we'll start uh, start um, in exposing series. Would you guys wanna see that? Let me know in the comments. If you want me to start, I'll pull some clips of other vendors on YouTube. You can send me the link to, and I'll kind of break down their business, what they're saying, how 90% of what they're saying is not even, uh, uh, not great advice at all, but terrible advice. The opposite of good advice. Terrible advice. So I've got to get some more items here, but that's, uh, that's going to be fully loaded. That's loaded. That's loaded. Then you want to go through each one. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to test each selection to make sure the motor's spinning, to make sure that the Ivan's working, to make sure that everything's good. Even though this machine came from a location and everything was in working condition, whenever you're moving a machine around, um, things can happen. A little wire can get, uh, you know, cause you're, you're manhandling, handling these machines around. So when that happens, uh, you know, the coin mech could, could get, uh, knocked off kilter, a wire could come loose. So you always want to make sure you test them before you install them. So So the first First row is done. It's got the labels on there. It's got the prices on there. The second row, besides filling it, the second row 
has got the uh, labeled price, third row labeled price. The next row down is going to be our uh, non-chocolate. So we're going to put crackers in there, peanuts, anything that uh, trail mix, things like that, that are non-125 dollar items. For example, salted peanuts from planters. Hope everybody's uh, doing well. If you would like to see those videos, do let me know. Let me see if anyone copped on here. Wayne, how you doing, Wayne? Good to see you. Thanks for hopping on. Vending AM chat. Throw in a little bit of Rice Krispie right there. Rice Krispie treats, great little item. See. Another nice one here, Oreos. Can throw Oreos down there too. So what I did is I just raided the truck for um, half boxes and stuff that I can put in here. We'll do a full fill later. And again, the reason I'm in um, the reason that I'm filling it right now before installing is because you want to go in. I'm gonna wheel this thing in, it's gonna be loaded, ready to go. Drop it on location, plug it in, test it to make sure it's working, and walk away. So the process is gonna be a lot uh, quicker if you do it this way. Let's see what we got going on here. Try to get a little more light on the subject there. Get a little bit of caffeine to make sure that we're awake. Wide awake. Okay. Now you might be wondering if you've seen these coils before. So you've got your normal coils right here. Let's see if you can see. Okay, just a normal coil. But then you've got these called these little half turn motors here that'll fit like a Mentos or a Starburst in. Okay. For those, you can't fit an item, right? So let's take a look, Oreo will fit in this one. It won't fit because it's a half turn. It has to, one item goes here, one item goes here, back and forth. So really the main items you would put there, that we put there would be Mentos, you know, the long slender tube and Starburst. So those are the two that we're gonna be putting in there. And then, gonna have to uh, adjust some of these prices because it was a little helter skelter there. So we're gonna get this all ready to go. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking is um, probably do a little channel audit on some other vending channels because I feel bad for people watching this because they have hundreds of thousands if not millions of views and they don't know what they're talking about they're telling people to put 50 cent sodas sell soda for 50 cent i mean that's in 2021 that's probably that's probably the worst piece of uh vending advice i've heard in two years in two years that's probably the worst piece of advice but this these people are, are saying this so people who do not know because you know, even though Hill Vending is the best vending channel on YouTube, hands down, most knowledgeable, most sharing, most caring, uh, these people are getting the views and they're telling the wrong information. So then they're telling people to put machines outside and sell 50 cent soda. That is a recipe for disaster. So if you want to not make money with your vending, I feel like that's my obligation. It's my duty as a vending operator here on, uh, on YouTube to provide the right info. And you can listen to me or not listen to me, but at least you'll know, man, I guess Adam was right. I guess he knew what he was talking about when he said not to sell soda for 50 cents. I guess he knew what he was talking about when he said glass fronts are bad. I guess he did when he said Vendo 721s are the best machine out there.
everything priced and ready to go. And then we'll test each selection to make sure that 46, when we punch 46, it is the correct number, okay? These are just small little details that, um, that you've got to do, but not everybody knows because you just think it's just putting snacks in a machine. There's a lot of other little details that go along with it. Hope everyone is going to have a great weekend. A great weekend. If you're buying a machine, if you're going to be vending this weekend, let me know in the comments. Have another have a service call this uh, this morning. Have a refrigeration deck that either the door was open or there's a problem with the thermostat that the, uh, froze over completely and an entire column of Diet Coke exploded. So that machine is down. Luckily at that location, there is another machine with basically the same setup of uh, drinks. So they will not be without, um, without products. Okay. So now 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 47, perfect. That row's good. Now this row is where I'm gonna show you if you're still here, if you're still watching, how these price scrolls. So as you can see, there's a loop. They, they scroll up like that. They roll out. And then you roll it to the right price that you want. So, but in order to do that, let me show you here. You have to remove this cover. Let me get a little bit closer so you guys can see. Again, this is a Wittern 3504, basically four wide. Let's see here. Pull your tray out. There's this little cover piece here. And you're just gonna, it's plastic, work it up. Work it up, okay? Then once you get it up there, you'll see it'll start to come, work one in, end of it. Let's see what we got. See that comes off. So now you have, that comes off, and then now you can see that's where these scrolls are at, okay? That's where these scrolls are at. So, some of them are at a dollar. See, some of these end. The problem with these scrolls, is see that the highest it goes is a dollar. So if you want to sell something for a dollar twenty-five, and not all these scrolls have over a dollar on them, the ones that I just found uh, under the machine they do. So. That's why I'm gonna put these on there. But it is a nice, in theory, if they had all of the prices on there, you could just scroll to change your price. But machines, they're, um, they're getting cheaper too, to where the machines, if you buy a new machine, it'll say, they'll just give a little tab that says press, pro press selection to see price. They don't even sell these anymore because they don't wanna, or they don't even put these on new machines. It's that you have to pay more for them because everyone's cutting costs. And see, they get all gunked up too. See that? So this one doesn't even scroll anymore. So that's why I recommend having a label maker too. Um, so, let's see if all these are just 90. Yeah. So we'll take these out. see here. Another baggie here. Our little baggie. And what we'll do on these new ones is for some reason they go 5, 10, 20, 30, then dollar 5. Okay. Not sure why. 
they do that, but they have the price that we want, which is $1.25. So we'll scroll it up to the right there, set it in the slot. So there you go. Now that's set at $1.25. Grab the next uh, scroll here. Just keep scrolling it. we get to dollar 25 I'm gonna put that in the slot and actually I'm gonna do one two three four five yeah I'll probably do five I'll do Snickers, M&M Peanuts, Twix, Reese's, yeah. And then maybe I'll do two, so maybe four, because then that'll be Mentos and Starburst. Now, if you wanted to change this out, you'd have to change the entire motor out. The yellow and white motor, you have to change the motor out completely. So, that's what we're going to keep doing here. Let me see... Changing this out. What's up, everybody? Uh, Juan, appreciate you watching. Great info. Thank you, sir. So we'll just keep labeling this to make sure because wait till you see the uh, wait till you see the content that's coming out here soon. The gloves are coming off from Hill Vending. Hill Vending's coming. Hill Vending's coming for the top spot on YouTube, okay? So it might get messy, so buckle up. Buckle up, because I'm not going to stand around and let people get taken advantage of. Oh, here. Tommy Cash. Yes, that is right. Uh, you have to make sure that you change the price, which is when everything's... <clears throat> good on the outside. That's when you're going to turn the machine on check your selections test the motors make sure everything's priced right Right now is the first stage Make sure everything's good Get these dollar 25s down here A little bit of prep work a little bit of uh, prep work goes a long way this is probably going to take about an hour to, to do this from start to finish to, uh, I'm not going to do it all today, but if you were going to try and do this, go through it, make sure everything's good and you didn't have an energy drink, it might take two hours. It might take two hours. Okay. See, like this makes no sense. It goes 30 cents and then a dollar five. What in the world? But we're going to do a couple for a dollar here. The gloves are coming off. Going for the top spot. Going for the top spot because as uh, someone says, Grant Cardone says, as Grant Cardone, if you're not first, you're last. If you're just joining, we're pricing this snack machine. It's a Wittern 4Y 3504 model. Has iVend upgraded capacity with the iVend. Have a credit card reader on. It's getting installed next Wednesday. Um, but you want to do all this prep work here. The old APs really sucked. No LED display until money went in. Yes. Yes. And that's what some of these YouTubers are saying to buy. Okay? That's what they're saying to buy. So I just feel I have to do my duty. My duty. Tommy Cash, let's do a live stream together and we will show the truth about vending.
shed some light on the vending biz because unfortunately there's no you can't go to school for this you can't take an online class or you can't take a course and college course for this how did you learn tommy how did you learn about vending just hands-on i'm guessing hands-on learning the problem is you got to make a lot of your own mistakes to learn that way to learn the hard way. So we're finding a dollar twenty-five. We're gonna label this here. Okay, so now we have our cover piece here that I'm just gonna make sure. See 50, 51, 52. Uh, these have some labels on them. What's up, everybody? Let me know where you're watching from. Tampa Bay, Florida, sunny Tampa Bay, Florida is where I am located. The summer heat is coming. Hopefully our supply issues will be uh, fixed with the club, Sam's Club, and we will be able to get in enough inventory, but only time will tell. If you have a question, drop it in the comments. I'll try to give you my best answer for that. If you wanna see a collection video, let me know. If you wanna see a pool video, if you want to see me drop a vending machine from the roof video, whatever you want to see, just let me know. Let's we'll see what I can do. Next door is a tree guy. He's got cranes. He's got, he's got everything. He's got everything. He has everything, guys. You're watching Vending TikTok in Florida. The number one vending channel on YouTube. Self-taught. 120 machines. Been doing it seven years. Don't know everything, but know how to do a little bit. Know how to do enough to make some money. Don't you want to make money? I don't want to be doing this right now. I just want to slam machines. This is part of it that comes with it. This is part of the business, though. That you may not know you signed up for. So, again, can't wait. Probably next week or the following week, going to be dropping some fire videos. Some fire. Going to see some hill vending scorched earth. Scorched earth. Let's see, I missed it there, Tommy. Hold on one second. What's up, Ian? Um... Guy trained me for three hours until the cops arrived at the building we were in and he ran out the side door. Ha! You were trying to do some shady stuff, Tommy. You were being shady. Okay, so now everything's cleaned up. Again, just so you can see that clips on there. Right? So that just snaps on. So you have to uh, be careful when you put it back on. So let's put this back on here. Okay, so let me bring this a little bit closer so you can see. Okay, so now I have all the scrolls in there. You gotta be gentle with them because um, you don't wanna mess them up. You can adjust them, but you don't want them to pop out. So what I like to do is start at the top here, get one corner in and line it up. So how that top is in the in the track right now. Okay? And then you make sure everything's good here. I'm just going to work this edge. Put that edge along. And there you go. Just like that. Now you have Make sure everything's aligned. 125. This one should be a dollar. So if it's not aligned, just pop this out, slide it over, pop it back in. So there you go. That now that tray is lined up, ready to go. We've got 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. Okay, and these coils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen count coils. So 
those are 15 count coils. And then I'm gonna have to do the same thing here for this bottom tray. Again, let me see here. Just pop this, work this angle from the bottom. Be careful because it's plastic. Now you're gonna pop that out. Now on this one, it's a little bit different because you have the scrolls on this side. So you're gonna have to put one there, there at the first coil because there's nothing in the middle there. So 60, let's see, 60, yeah. See, that's the problem with these scrolls here. See that? That's why I use a label maker normally. Look how junky, look how, you can't roll that back up. Okay. So let's do this. Let's do this vending talk. This isn't TikTok. Although TikTok, TikTok's doing great. TikTok, 171,000 on TikTok. The number one vending channel on TikTok. The new place to be where everyone's hanging out. Do you guys have a TikTok? Let me know. Do you have a TikTok? Interested to know. Interested to know. See what the comments are here. Just that a little bit. Let's see how many employees. It's me, my brother, brother-in-law, and dad. Family business here. Juan, do you like glass front soda machines like BevMax 3 and 4? If I had, I like them. The problem is they don't work a lot of the time. The problem is a drink falls, it shuts down the entire machine. The mo there's, there's a lot of issues that happen. If I can get away with it, I would never put out a glass front. Do they look nice? Can you put a lot of different selections in? Is it, is it, yes, yes to that. The problem with glass fronts is nobody has made, not even Vendo, has made a bulletproof glass front machine, okay? Glass front machines are problematic by nature. And if you don't know how to work on them, you're gonna have issues with your XY motor, your motor boards, uh, drinks falling, when, when got, lined up for the summertime here for the summertime assault on youtube let's go <laughs> Woo! fired up here let me see what else we have smash the like button please if you're watching this video francisco we are growing pretty fast any tips for increasing sales from a slow location so um a slow location the you need to know how many employees are there how much foot traffic is there the problem with slow locations is like the account we have that's doing five dollars a day there's not much if people aren't using the machines you don't want to start dropping price you need to make a profit on your product so yeah you can drop price but then you're just cheapening your business you're not making any money just to make these people happy so the problem with slow sales normally is the amount of amount of people not necessarily the selection because you're if as long as you're putting in the name brand, name brand products and not off-brand soda that a local grocery store is selling, uh, Jim Bob's soda, and people aren't buying a can of Coke, you can drop the price or you can pull the equipment. I would pull the equipment. Yes, you can put in smaller equipment, but that's based on your business and how you want to set, up, uh, set it up. So what is it doing? What is that account doing? How many machines? How many machines? And what is it doing uh, per month? What is the machine doing? What are the total machines doing? Or what is each machine doing? Let me know and I'll give you my opinion. <clears throat> because the way you gotta think about it is, can you find another location where that can make more money uh, before buying another machine? Okay, so this bottom one is four selections. So we have 60, 62, 64, 66. One drink, one snack. Yeah, what is the sales on that? Snack is slow, drink is fine. Snack is slow. Here's the problem too. 
when you're starting out and you have just a few accounts, Tommy Cash, if you're still here, you know this too. If you have smaller accounts and you only have small accounts um, in your in your business is built on say a couple of small accounts, there's four, look at all the selections here. Four, eight, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 16, 16, 40, over 40 selections in this machine, over 40 selections. If you have a slow account and one column isn't moving, you're gonna get caught on dates, expired, when you're bigger, <clears throat> when you're bigger, you can move uh, selections around. Um, you can move selections around. When you're smaller and a row of lays is not selling and it's getting close to go out of date, you're going to be stuck with a box of 50 count lays. That's the problem. Um, not that you can't avoid it. The way to avoid that, I believe, is to get multi-packs. Don't get straight packs unless you know you, you can move it all, get mixed packs so that you can move, uh, start selling through product. But uh, let me see if you let me know how much. Okay, 15, eight daily for the drink, 10, $10 a day for the snack machine. So $3,300. Um, we have 15 machines, can pull any machine. Okay. I mean, if it's doing 20, that's not bad. It's not terrible. It's a little bit slow. Maybe that's just the, the location. Do you have credit card reader on there? Do you have a credit card uh, reader on there? That might be possible. Um, also, you can put on the machine. Put on the machine. Put a wish list. Have people, have the workers put on the outside here. Have a chart and a pen and say, what would you like in this machine? And have them write uh, what they would want. And if you can get it, um, maybe try that. But, you know, sometimes slow accounts are just slow accounts. There's not much you can do. So, good luck with that. Good luck with that. People want to bring their stuff, uh, if people want to bring their stuff from home, or, uh, yeah, we have slow accounts. We have a uh, slow account, and... We've got slow accounts. And at the end of the day, it's just, it, it is what it is, I think. So good luck with that. Hopefully everything, uh, you always got to be on the hunt. Always be on the hunt. That's that's actually a good idea. We use QR codes, send them to a Google survey. Great idea. Great idea. Only, uh, only problem I've run into, too, with taking too many requests from people is <clears throat> at a certain point, you, after 100 machines and years of doing it, you know kind of what sells, okay? And if... If Bob wants banana, uh, banana hot chips, okay, you know that those are probably not going to sell, and they're going to sit in the machine. So the problem with providing too many uh, options when you when when uh, Jim wants diet Sprite lemonade orange crush, you know, then you get into a supply issue. Can you even make sure that it's going to be in stock? Is it going to go out of date? you know the main sellers, you know the main sellers. So we got four more to price here. We're gonna scroll over to 125. And again, this one we're gonna have to put on the left side because of the way this is set up. Three more and then this one is in the books. Where's everyone watching from? We are in Florida. About to go in on YouTube in 2021. Let me see if we have any comments here. Sells like a request. Smell part of the game, I guess. Yeah, we call slow accounts free storage. That is true. The problem with free storage, though, is like the account that's doing five dollars a day right now for us. <clears throat> supposed to have a hundred people manufacturing warehouse, 24 hour, whatever. Is there's eight. Eight to ten thousand dollars in equipment in there that uh, is losing money. So we have it free storage until we find another account, which I'm sure that's what you guys do. Living Vision TV. How well is the business doing in 2021? So I mentioned this in another video. I was saying last year people weren't letting us in. People were not letting us in. If you're watching this video and you are thinking about getting into vending, now is the time to go out and start talking to people. Okay. People are taking meetings. We've got an account every month this year. We've gotten an account. 
okay? Call, go in, however you wanna do it. But before, well, I guess it depends on your state. You know, if you're in Michigan, New York, California, if you're locked down and you can't, then that's different. Here in Florida, we have opened up and they are letting us, uh, you know, easing the restrictions and letting people make a living. So if you're in a state that's not locked down and you want to get a vending account or you want to get into it, now is the time. What is it? April 16th, April 16th, 2021, people will start taking accounts or stay, taking, um, letting you come in, taking meetings to where you can look at the machines, see what's going on, uh, evaluate, install, sell. They're starting to do that now. Last year, obviously with everything locked down, nothing was happening. You couldn't even get in there, right? It was locked down or everyone was at home. So 2021, we're not back to our um, pre-COVID heights, but we are hoping that uh, I would say we're at about 80%. We're at about 80% of, uh, of our potential. So we'll see if everything keeps... But it's actually been uh, pretty good because what we've been able to do is kind of sell off slower accounts, uh, reposition machines, kind of like a, a rose bush pruning the bush. You know, Big Mike here, Big Mike, Big Mike, he loves, uh, you know, growing plants and pruning. So it's kind of like that. You don't want a bush to go wild. You don't want your vending business to go wild. You have to cut the fat sometimes. You have to cut the dead you have to prune it so that it will grow higher, bigger, and stronger this year. What's up? Uh, let me see. I work full-time and own 15 machines. Not easy because I love my job and vending. Great. Do you have uh, somebody help? You have somebody help you? Uh, yeah, that's the thing too. You don't have to be 120 machines. If you like the 15 machines and you can do $1,000 a month um, per machine, bring in $15,000 a month, that's a nice side income. If you use the 50, 30, 20 rule, 15,000, say a third of that, you can make 5,000 a month doing your vending business. A nice little side hustle there for sure, okay? Um, Hard to decide what to do. I'm 28. NYC, Fast City, I'm alone. Well, that's interesting. You're able to have the machines in New York City. I figure everything would be closed down. Figure they would be... Uh... If you like your job and you like vending, I would just keep doing both. I wouldn't uh, trade, trade one for the other. Because who knows? There may be another uh, lockdown, and you can't get into your vending machines, and you still need your job. So... Um... I think the the message the comments are coming through a little little delayed but just keep doing what you can do have somebody help you out on the side maybe so that you if you want to expand a little bit but you don't everyone doesn't have to be a, i don't want to get bigger than i think the potential with vending with one box truck i think we could do a million dollars in sales at a one box truck 500 on an am shift uh five hundred thousand gross sales on a pm shift okay I do not want to have 50 trucks on the road, 500 machines, and tons of headaches. Okay. Dollar twenty-five. Let's keep it moving. Two more to go. Two more to go. Don't you know? We are here in the warehouse. If you want to look around the warehouse, let me know. Comment house below if you want to see the warehouse. See what we have in stock. Haven't been able to get in ruffles. Our number one chip has not been in stock. So I'm going to have to ride around like a hooligan today and see if I can s s buy all of them from a store. Buy all of them. Buy all the Ruffles sour cream, the number one chip. We cannot be out of stock. Cannot be out of stock. And we right now are out of stock in the warehouse, out of stock in the truck, and out of stock in the machines. It's making us look bad. Making us look bad. Okay, so now that is programmed or priced, not programmed. 
let's see with that one there, that one there, that one there. So now I'll show you guys here. If you're just joining, I'm gonna be putting this cover piece back over. Again, it's just a piece of plastic. Piece of plastic here, so you have to be careful with it. But what we'll do, start at the top. That hook in right up there. See that hooked in? Move your label so you can see them. Then just work this bottom piece. And there you go. Now you're all set. Now this row, this row down here will probably do honey bun, big Texas, freshly cupcakes, maybe a pop tart. We'll see. Again, the way that I uh, go through in my course, my training is there's a, there's a strategy to that. You know, you price it based on category, okay, based on shelf. I don't get nerded out about this selection has to be this chip every single time. This row is for small bag chips. Let's maneuver some chips around. So if a deal comes available, um, you can make it work. Don't, it doesn't have to be, Lay's has to be in this row every single time, or it's gonna, uh, uh. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have the comments. Appreciate everyone. Uh, Tommy says, Plymouth, Massachusetts, former Tom Brady territory. Oh, I knew Tom Brady was going to come up on a Friday. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Super Bowl champions. He's probably going to be around for another three years, another three championships. Um, Edelman, who just retired, is going to probably be coming out of retirement to get away from that monster Bill Belichick. Let me get back to vending, though. Let me get back to vending. Don't get me started on the Champa Bay. Um, let's see. Okay, true. Makes sense. At some point, one must assess how big they want to be. Exactly. And bigger is not always better, you know? Get to a point where you feel comfortable with. And you can uh, venture out into something else. You don't have to do... Because there's a lot more headache. Um, house. Tommy wants to see the warehouse. Mike Pablo, my number one seller is chocolate Boston cream honey bun. Hmm. See, it's hard to get in some of those other things here. So here's the where we have our machines here. Okay. Then we have some machines here. Okay. And then we start right here with our power. There's a little workstation. Those are these uh, telemeter units that I have to install, the 2G, 5G. And this is the random item of the warehouse. Those are pictures of chickens that I used to have. That's pretty cool, huh? I used to have some chickens. If you have chickens, comment chicken below. Do you have chickens? Those are Rhode Island Reds. Actually, a sad story. Half of them got eaten by a weasel, but we won't go into that on this live stream. We will not get into that. So here's the warehouse. Uh, Pepsi bottles, cans, Mountain Dew. Again, running into issues again. I ordered an entire pallet of uh, Mountain Dew and they only uh, would sell us two levels, which is 30 cases. We've got our teas, our energy drinks all right here. We've got a backup pallet of Coke that I was surprised they would sell us, but they did. So I said, absolutely, I want that. Chips up top. Chips up top. There's some Coke, Diet Coke cans. Bottles a little low on. And then over on this side. Okay. Bang energy right there. That's what we got right there. They all AMS machines. No, most of these are USI that I got. There's windows back here. There is one AMS machine here though. We got one AMS machine. You should have a heavy chain in front of those upper machines if they fall forward, yikes. Yep, I should. Um, they're recessed back in there on plywood unless there's a, a earthquake. Um, I'm not sure how they would just suddenly fall but yeah we should put a chain up there thanks tommy thanks tommy always looking out for hill vending so that's the warehouse 
Okay. So now, like Tommy was saying earlier, you have to make sure that you program the machine. Um, Cause we've changed some prices around. We've changed some prices around and everything's been uh, moved. So you want to go through each selection and make sure uh, that it is uh, appropriately priced. Have you tried to log in? Yes, I have logged in to USA and it's the website has now changed, Seed Live. Um, I just had to put in my same username and password and it worked. Uh, it's just a new website, Seed. I forget what it said, sent me to. There is a new website, USA Technology has changed their name to Cantaloupe to run away from their past. I believe they're running away from their past. They'll give you some corporate jargon on what we're looking for synergy and we're looking to pivot in a new direction, but they're probably running away from the fact that they're getting trashed online all over the place. Okay. Um, quick tip. I'm going to give you a quick little tip. Since you guys are hanging out, I'm going to show you this. Francisco, you're going to like this. Grab some of these. Grab some of these Nutty Buddy bars, chocolate wafer. They're 25 cents. Put them in the chocolate row for $1.25, okay? 25 cents. Make a dollar per bar. Yeah, so you go, yeah, you automatically get go to Seed Live. Yours won't work. Well, my same password and username worked. So... Maybe did your password expire? But the same USA technology to get the reports on Seed Live, I put in the same one and it worked. Um, so I'm not sure. If you guys are liking the video, smash the like button for me. Do me a favor and smash the thumbs up. Let's see. It automatically sends you, yeah. What are your best tips? for cutting cost across the board for efficiency. Okay, uh, cutting cost. So your main cost, your main cost is gonna be your product cost, right? Hill vending 50, 30, 20 rule, 50% is gonna be your product. If you can get that down to 45, tip I would say is if you want, I can send you a link to it. They, get, they give me like 200 bucks if you sign up. Uh, a Spark, or you can sign up on your own, I don't care. A Capital One Spark card, Okay, what's in your wallet? This thing right here, I don't know if there's some, this Spark Business, Hill Vending right there, 2% cash back, okay? Everything, everything you get, everything you buy, 2% cash back. There's a small fee, it's like $60 a year to have it, but you get unlimited cash back on that credit card. If you'd like to sign up, if you want me to send you a link to sign up, and they give me a little cut, let me know, email me, adam at hillvending.com. That's probably the best way. And you can, I can email you the link. I would get this card though, because I, you don't have to do anything. You just pay for it on your card, never missed a payment. You just pay with your bank account and you make thousands of dollars on, um, on your purchases. So that's a way that instantly you can get 2% off all your product on all of your product. Think about that all of your product. Mike, um, I don't know how to send, can you uh, email me or DM me on Instagram or something? I don't know of a way to get your contact info. Adam at hillvending.com or text me 813-922-5045. 813-922-5045 and I'll send you the link and you can get the capital one. I've had it for five years now, made well over 15,000, I mean, just everything at Sam's Club goes on that card. Everything, all the product I buy, anything that I can buy, I put on that card. Pay it off and get the 2% back. So that can lower your cost down. If it's 50, right down to 48. Heard it here first, Hill Vending loves Capital One. Now, if there's another card out there where you can get 2.5%, go for it. Go for it, but that's a one way to cut your cost instantly. And if you're spending $10,000 a month, $200, that adds up. Um, Nutty Buddies were crack cocaine in college. Yes. Well, this, this one too. This one too. Uh, was that Sebastian? Oatmeal. Who had these in their lunch? Who had the Little Debbies? Shoot. I know I did. 
What's up, toy trains? I know I did. Those are 25 cents too. 25 cents. 25 cents a unit for Nutty Buddy and oatmeal. Cream oatmeal, uh, the little cakes there. Meanwhile, when you're buying, uh, when you're buying uh, chocolate, it's 70 cents. Guys, chocolate's gonna go through the roof. Chocolate is going up. Chocolate now has to be, getting to the point now where ch chocolate now has to be $1.50. $1.50. Or, just like we're doing here, you limit the selection to chocolate. Instead of doing a full tray, you gotta cut it down. Cut it down in the bay. Appreciate everyone watching. Uh, appreciate everyone, let's see, send me the link. Yeah, you DM me, great. Can the Vendo 721 Vin soft pulling? Not typically. Guys, I'll show you the Vendo 721. Any stack loader, meaning it's a column and you stack all the cans up, not a front and back loader, which is still a stack, but it's front and back, but it's a Royal. But let me show you the bottles we use. If you can get something like this, it's a 20 ounce. The brand we use is Zephyr Hills. The little flimsy bottles do not vend well at all. This is what we use here. What's up, Proctor in the building, Takia? Okay, you see how this is? This is even flimsy. But this, for us, obviously uh, does not get, when you, when you go smaller than 20 ounce though, the plastic, you, put, you can only put probably, you know, eight or 10 bottles in there. So be careful with that. Be careful with that. Would not recommend using those. And then if you put them in a glass front machine, if you put them inside of a glass, I want the reflection there. If you put those inside of a glass front machine in a claw or whatever, it's gonna fall and mess up your glass front machine. Uh, Joseph, what I want you to do is call me after this. I have a lead, potential lead for you of, 50, 40 employees. So hit me up in St. Pete. Let's see, what else do I have here? Yes, yeah, so if you want the link to the Capital One Cashback, email me, Adam at Hill Vending. Just type in their cashback link. Um, I think they, I get like a referral thing for them. But they, uh, that's an instant way to save, uh, save money on your... I haven't tried using 20 ounce. I've been using 20 ounce. Yeah, if you can get a 20 ounce bottle from Sam's Club or anywhere, try that out. Toy Trains, what's up? Say no to flimsy water bottles. Tommy knows. Tommy knows the deal. Flimsy water bottles lead to flimsy results. So, yes, again, what we're doing here, I use uh, push water. The bottles are like aquafina bottle. yeah aquafina bottle is the sturdiest bottle i've ever seen i mean that thing is built that thing is built different have you guys seen that video where you guy cracks the egg on his bicep i'm built different if you're on tiktok you would see that i'm built different um yeah so don't use the flimsy water bottles okay so this machine right here, again, I'm gonna have that full of chips. This will be full, everything will be full except the chocolate. So when I go to install it, put the chocolate in, plug it in, it'll be priced, programmed. As the credit card reader has already been installed, I've already tested the credit card reader to make sure that the, uh, uh, to make sure that the reader works, that it's online because we use USA Technology, we have 50 credit card readers, and we have to actually right here, if you missed the live, these are the 2G. So be careful if you're just, if you're new and you think you're buying a credit card reader, an e-port, okay, from USA Technology, from someone used. If it's a 2G, it will soon be obsolete and you have to do what I'm doing, which is buy the modem a limiter, whatever you want to call it, and upgrade it. And all that right there, that stack right there, 
$1,500. You wanted some vending machines, you said. Unexpected $1,500. Now I'll show you this. Here's a little learning thing. I just got this in. So a free little plug, order some parts. If you order from them, let me know in the comments. DNS, uh, DNS vending out of Ohio. So I was having, uh, when you have Vendo 721, some of the older models, not older models, but older machines, meaning uh, what generation they are made. Shouldn't be cutting towards yourself. They have a problem when you put up a credit card reader of reporting your cash, cash sales, which depending on how you want to run your business, maybe that's a good thing. But everything's above board here at Hill Vending. We take no shortcuts. But what you'll find out, okay, is if you want to, look at this. Look at this, what's in here. Dennis, sales manager, sent me some candy. You see that? Dennis. Now, you know what they say, do not eat candy from strangers, so I will not do this live on YouTube and, and fall out right now. I'm not saying Dennis is a bad guy, but my mom said do not eat candy from strangers. You know, Halloween. Here you go, Well, for that, I'll give you a free shout out. If you're looking for parts for your vending machines, give, uh, let's see if you can see that. Give Dennis Olson a call at DNS Vending in Cleveland, Ohio. His cell phone is 440 440- 339-8905. And he gave me, look at this. See, this is customer service. Even though I'm not going to eat these because I don't know where they've been. I don't know where they've been. Let's get back to what's in this box. Be careful here because it's a little piece. All that big old box for these. If you know what those are, drop it in the comment. If you know what these are, drop it in the comments. It's for Vindo 721. I'll get to tell you here in a second. Uh, you should look, yeah, push beverages, okay. Push beverages. Let me write that down before I forget. Push beverages. I don't have a pen. Hold on. Hold on. All right. I just wrote it down on my whiteboard right there. Push. Let's see. Yep. DNS vending are my go-to guys. Yeah, pretty quick. They're quick on the shipping, have a lot of parts. They also have a good web, um, website where you can look in the parts and go buy machines, so check them out. Uh, Push will also send you free label graphics. They have a nice retro kit for live display machines. Free label graphics, and they have a nice retro kit. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, maybe Push Graphics wants to sponsor... Hill Vending. Wouldn't that be awesome, guys? Let's get some sponsorship going. Um, and Push have half iced tea, half lemonade sells good. Huh. And they're down here in Florida? Or where do you get it from? Hint water. Where do you get the Push beverage from? Or you have to call them or what? Okay. I'm not sure if my... Uh, this is delayed... But these are called little EEPROM. EEPROM. Okay? I'm going to show you this little chip. So this little chip right here. Goes on to your board. And actually I have one here. So that your board can communicate with the credit card reader. Uh, it's for cash sales. So... This is a board from a 721. 
Okay, it has a cover over it, but I'm not going to take it off because it's on there. Right here, you see that little chip right there? Anyway, there's one of those. There's one of these plugged in right there. And what I have to do, this is a version 1.15, and this is a version 12.1. So when I pull this one out and put that one in, it's going to allow the cache sales to show up, and it's basically going to communicate all the information with the credit card reader. So um, now, so you can look at your on your board. If you have a 721, look at your board and look, it's right next to the mode button. That's the mode button. And you can see the little EEPROM chip. You can see what version it is. And if you're having trouble not seeing, because a lot of people like to do, uh, you're pre-kidding. Uh, if you're not seeing your cash sales come through, you might have to upgrade your EEPROM chip depending on your uh, software version. So that's another project. See how many projects? That's another problem when you buy, when these other YouTubers, oh, just buy a $300 machine and sell drinks for for uh, 50 cents a can. I can't believe I heard this guy say self, put a machine outside and I'm gonna sell my drinks for 50 cents a can. Wait till you see what's coming. I'm going, I'm going on. Cause people that are new to vending are gonna be thinking that, that in 2021, it's a good idea, idea to sell cans of soda that you buy for 30 or 35 cents for 50 cents. That's unbelievable. That's unconscionable that someone would say that. But huge platform, millions of views, spewing wrong information. Don't worry, Hill Vending's on the way. Hill Vending is coming for the top spot on YouTube. In the vending category, in the vending business category, Hill Vending is already the number one, providing the most value, answering the most questions, helping people out with a great community like Tommy, Mike Pablo, David, Francisco, Joseph, everybody, okay? You guys are uh, helping the community grow of legitimate vending operations, not clickbait operations. I'll make some clickbait videos. I'll go pull, I can go pull a big old bag right now with a bunch of cash, but the real thing in 2021 is not the cash, okay? It's the credit, Apple Pay, okay? Show me your credit card sales. Show me your huge statement with your thousands. These guys, I pay more in sales tax than these guys make a month. Show me your payroll report. Show me your warehouse. I'm gonna settle down. I'm getting fired up, guys. Don't get me fired up here on Friday. Fired up Friday. Maybe that'll be a new series. Fired up Friday. Okay, let's see. If you can do a trailer load from Push, it's crazy cheap. Well, do you order, uh, who do you order from? For sure, thanks, Mike. Uh, from VSTAR, you can get them? V-Star is just so expensive. I stopped ordering. V-Star, guys, if you don't know, V-Star, Merchant Smart, V-Star, uh, they're just so expensive. They'll deliver to you, but they're going to charge you. I, the reason I go to Sam's Club, some of you may or may not know, the reason I go to Sam's Club is because, first of all, it's close to my warehouse. Second of all, the, well, actually, first of all is the price. Second is it's close. I can get a can of Pepsi for 30 cents, where at V-Star, it's 40, 45 cents a can. 15 cents a can times thousands of cans leads to a lot of, uh, a lot of money. All right, guys. Francisco, I'm with Hollis Vending Company. We've spoken before. Thanks. Yep, I'm on Instagram. Awesome. Good job. Keep going, Francisco. Go fill the machines and work the job. Just keep hustling. The next time I'm in my warehouse, I'm going to DM you a video. Thanks, Mike. Do that. And what we can start to do, too, is do a, a dual live stream. We could do a dual live stream where we can start to uh, educate people and share uh, what's going on. So, been a great stream. What I'm going to do now, again, I'm going to put these. 
Make sure these little EEPROM chips do not uh, disappear. I think they were $20 per chip. $20 per chip. So these little, these, the point of showing you that is that there's little expenses like that. Coinmex bill validators, especially with your drink machine, even though it is probably rated to be outside, with vandalism, with your Coinmex going bad, um, with with all this stuff going wrong, and you're gonna sell a, a, a can for fifty cents. Just insanity, just pure insanity, and I won't stand for it anymore. I won't stand for that. And even though, Dennis. Dennis, I appreciate the candy. Give Dennis a call. DNS Vending. Dennis Olson. Ask for Dennis Olson. Tell him Hill Vending sent you. See if he gives you a special discount code. Tell him you should try this out. Sell him discount code Hill Vending. He'll be like, what? What discount code is that? Then he'll be like, mm, maybe I need to check out Hill Vending. Quick service. They have a good selection of, uh, of parts. And they're all the way in Ohio. But they uh, do pretty good. So, push beverages, you can talk to the owner. I'm going to call Tony. I'm going to get off this call. I'm going to call push beverage. I'm going to call Tony, see what Tony can do. Push, or at least I'll go on their website. Let me go on their website and check them out and see what they, what they have to sell. Because the big mover for us recently, energy sector-wise, has been not monster, not monster. It has been bang energy. Bang Energy used to not even be carried in Sam's Club, and now it is carried in Sam's Club. You have the contact number, Mike? See you, Francisco. Have a great day. I'm going to hop off here in a little bit. Let me get that number, though. Let me write this down. Let me write it down. Let me get my whiteboard. Got my big old whiteboard here. See, I wrote push beverage. Let me see. What's the number, guys? Do you know the number? On the next live stream, I'll let you know if I ordered a tractor trailer load of push beverage. I've got space. I've got space. I'll put pallets up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can move all that. Ten. I could fit fifteen. Probably fit more twenty, but <clears throat> let's see. Thanks, Francisco. Have a great day. I'm glad I came across your channel. I just bought two snack machines from an auction. I'm just now getting started in vending business. I need all the valid advice I can get to be successful. Perfect. Yes, depending on the brand. Again, there's a lot of information on here. Um, get to know those machines, understanding if they are upgradable, understanding you know, your pricing, your structure. Eight, oh, 855 push Bev. All right. I'm gonna come on here and do uh, more live streams too. So if you catch a live stream or if you catch the replay, comment. I try to get to the comments. If I don't, I'll get to them on another video. I'll try to answer all the questions. So that, uh, yeah, because it's gonna go, Hill Vending's gonna go to that next level because people that are just starting out buying, like uh, Ms. Proctor, um, need information. They need information and they don't need information about selling 50 cent cans of soda in a machine. Information on why am I selling this chip for a dollar, this for 75, this for a dollar, why is this row this much? Um, anyway, so, all right guys, 866 push beverage, thank you. Tommy, thanks for having you on here. Oh, we've got the number right here. Mike's coming through, 610. 610, uh-oh, let me see, 500, 500-9715, 500-9715, 610-500-9705, we'll give them a call. Yeah, and if you want the, uh, you sent me the link. <clears throat> Another thing I would do if you're getting in, yeah, if you guys are new, that credit card, <clears throat> email me Adam at Hill Vending. I'll send you the link on that so you can get get uh, Felder's Vending sent you. Dominic, Dominic or Dominic? Felder's Vending. It 
Is it Dominic? We'll call him. We'll call him. Young Mischief 801. Love the videos. I've been in vending business for about uh for some months. I already have 12 huge accounts in our first micro market open up within four months. Good for you. Good for you. Appreciate the uh, appreciate the support. Appreciate the support, guys. Um hopefully I can uh keep on here. Demo Nick. Huh. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Hope you guys have a great Friday. Who knows? I may pop back on here when I'm at an account today where the uh, refrigeration deck, what time is it? 930. Yeah. Let it thaw out. So I'm going to hop in there. Check that out. <clears throat> Got to go tell an account that we're going to be pulling the machine. So a lot going on. I'm going to hop off here. I appreciate everyone watching. And until next time, keep your drinks cold and your snacks fresh.